Hi, YouTubers. It's Santa. Today is 5-11-2013. Yesterday was the 10th, and I went in for my endoscope, as I previously talked about. So the great thing that I wanted to share was, first of all, I didn't wake up during the middle of the procedure. And that's great news for me because last three times I expressed my concern about waking up, it happened anyways. I woke up when they were putting the stent, second stent in, and then when they were taking those metally meshy stents out, I woke up when they were coming out. And I know there was a lot of constraints involved because the next day my wrists were a little bit uh, bruised, very sore, and my hands hurt so bad. So my biggest fear going into the endoscope was waking up, and it didn't happen, so I'm very, very happy and thankful for that, and I believe that's because of my surgeon. She wasn't the person who was involved in the last endoscopes, and this time she was, and, and these things didn't happen to me, so yay! I honestly thought that I was going to go into the endoscope, and everything was going to look so healthy, and I was just going to be the person that I was told about in my last appointment that is sensitive. So she says some people get a sleeve and for about a year they're really sensitive. They have nausea and vomiting and they just kind of go through these cycles. And I, I was at peace if that, that was it. I thought, well, I'm five months out, so pretty much halfway, halfway there. Six, seven months of hell. Nausea and vomiting pain, I can do that. I mean, gosh, I've lived through my leak. Um, so, got to adjust here a little bit. Sorry, starting to feel uncomfortable. So, I got some news. Not very great news, either. I have an ulcer over my leak site. So, that would be the reason, probably, for the constant pain. Part of the reason for the nausea and vomiting. I heard to take something called called protonics twice a day to help with uh, being able to eat. It works some days, not all days. Um, and now they added this fluid apparently for ulcer, ulcers ugh, ulcers to kind of coat, coat them and help. And that stuff makes my stomach sick and makes me want to vomit. So it doesn't really help too much, but I will continue to follow what I've been told until I'm told otherwise. So I have ulcer over my leak site. I have these weird formations, wavy, fat, swollen formations at the bottom of my sleeve. And I have misplaced bile in my sleeve that should not be there. I have pictures here and I'll gladly show them to you. Um, if you've had an ulcer or you've had these weird things, I would love to hear from you. Or if you've had this misplaced bile, I would love to chat with you, message with you. I don't know. Look me up on Facebook. I'm Santa Santa. S-A-N-N-A-H space, same thing, S-A-N-N-A-H. Add me. You can see my journey on there, and I would love to see your journey. I just, I love watching other people and and, and their great success. Anyway, so here's the picture. This bottom one here. There's my ulcer, my sleeve. You see right above it? See these funny ripply things? That's one picture of them. I'm going to move this over. See there in the middle? That weird thing? And all this stuff around it? That yellow, greeny stuff is stomach bile that should not be there. I had not eaten in more than 12 hours before this endoscope. So, why is there bile that shouldn't be there? I don't know. She thinks maybe it's coming from my intestines up. Gross! I don't know why that's happening. Um, so, in one respect, it's good news to kind of know what's going on, because I know a lot of people have problems, and then they, they don't get answers, and, you know, who knows, and I, I do know and sympathize with the fact that that's very frustrating as well. But to get crappy news, just, ugh, it's a poop shoot, poop shoot, I feel so frustrated with it. I just, plain and simple, would like to have more days of being able to consume food and water smoothly than not. This is just not the case for me right now. Some days two bites and I'm ready to throw up and throwing up. Some days I can eat just fine. Majority of the days not. I, I just can't stand it. I try so hard to work every day to get my nutrients in. I throw them up 
and I cannot stand it. Prior to sleep, vomiting was something I, I rarely ever did. Once in like almost 20 years, I threw up, and that was because I had a, a head injury. Good reason to throw up. I do not vomit. I'm not the kind of person that vomits. Now I've had the sleeve and vomiting is just part of my life. I don't like that. I I just, I don't know what to say. I'm deficient in my vitamins from vomiting. So I started getting them in, in injections, which is nice. But hello, I'm 31. I don't want to need vitamins through injections. This is just not what I signed up for. I signed up to get healthier, not to have more problems. And currently, I just feel like I have more problems with my health than I ever have. And it's so frustrating for me. I just lately am just fed up with it. I'm so tired of it. I just, I don't know what to do. I feel crazy. These problems are just out of control. I'm just in shock that this has happened. You know, I've been asleep for five months and every time I turn around it's something else. And I feel let down by my body, by this process. And I have, for a long time, had regret about having the sleep. And these kind of things, these weird ripples and ulcer bile that's not supposed to be there for my intestines, they reinforce every single negative feeling I have. And, and this is hard for me because I'm used to feeling very happy and... Um, I'm able to cope with my emotions. I, they come on, I, I address them, and get out of, them, out of my system and move on. And lately I just feel so like I'm just a grumpy person to be around. And it, it's not fun. I don't want to be grumpy. And I don't want other people to not want to be around me. So, of course I'm going to continue going to counseling. Continue to try and eat. I have not been taking breaks for a day or two from food and water like it previously was. So that's definitely good news. I'm going to talk to my surgeon on Monday because I was too sedated after the endoscope to speak to her. So the information I come to you with is what my husband has shared with me. So that's kind of where I'm at. I think I might weigh myself tomorrow and maybe that'll bring some good news. And if it does, then I shall come on here and post. Anyways, please look me up on Facebook. I would love to be your friend on there. Uh, my Facebook is all about... Uh, Weight loss, being successful, exercise, nutrition, blah, blah, blah. And I'm Santa, Santa, S-A-N-N-A-H, space, S-A-N-N-A-H. I hope that you're having a good evening. And hopefully your sleeve is treating you much better than mine. Mine's a little crazy lady, but I'll talk to you soon. Take care, and thanks for following me. I, I hope I get to see some of you guys on Facebook or I don't know. Talk to you later. Bye.